in Wembley 88. Are they that big doing Wembley? This is the right one, right? Brothers in arms with Eric Clapton, right? Dire Straits and Eric Clapton, Brothers in Arms, Wembley 1988. Must be this one. Alright. Well, actually, you know, when Billy was talking about uh, the last album being banned, it wasn't the, it was just the last one, it was the very first one. Uh, we got banned by uh, the South African government back in 1979, I'm very pleased to say. What? Did they get banned? What is this? Cancel culture from 1979? South African government back in 1979, I'm very pleased to say. Why are they like controversial, this band? This one is really for the, the gentleman in question this evening. Best birthday party we've ever been to. Thanks for having us. Dude, is he tearing up? What is this? Is this serious? Looks like he's tearing up. One of you man too. One justice. <laughs> about soldiers or what? I have to take a look at the lyrics. There's so many different worlds So many different songs We have 
know the story behind this song but to that guy it looks to mean a lot I like the song I like the, the the best bit that I liked the most was the the verse bit the solos was good 
the chorus reminded me of that Pink Floyd song, which is one of my favorites from Pink Floyd. Uh, High Hopes. I think it was. Uh, High Hopes. And overall, it reminds me of Pink Floyd, but the later years of, I, I mean, you know, the 90s Pink Floyd or whatever you call it. I don't know. Which is the part I like with, with Pink Floyd. But what I like with this guy, I don't recognize this band. Uh, you know, I think this is probably maybe the first time I've seen seen this guy. Uh, yeah, what I liked about this guy is his uh, his uh, genuine genuineness. You know what I mean? He was genuine. Even though, you know, he's not singing high notes and things, but it doesn't matter. As long as you're, you're just authentic, you know, because that's what I think people connect to, you know, because take Adam Lambert. Super cotted $5. Rachmaninoff Variation 18 Rhapsody on Themes of Pagan Inival and Tina Lysitzer. W Vince 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 W. Thank you, BRG. I appreciate that. Uh, I will. What was I saying? You know, regarding high notes or whatever. Uh, you know, Adam Lambert, who sings with Queen, he sings high notes and whatever, has zero feeling. You know what I mean? Because he's he feels fake anyways. You know what I mean? So what I liked about this guy, even though no high notes, it, it doesn't matter. He's authentic. But I want to quickly just see what the fuck this was about. Uh, because it looks like it was something serious. <clears throat> fuck is this? There is. These mist covered mountains are a home now for me. But my home is the lowlands and always will be. Someday you'll return to your valleys and your farms. And you'll no longer burn to be brothers in arm. arms. Through these fields of destruction, baptism of fire, I've watched all your suffering as the battles raged higher and though they did hurt me so bad in the fear and alarm, you did not desert me, my brothers in arms. There are so many different worlds, so many different suns, and we just have one world but we live in different ones. Yeah, I catch that one. And that is even more true now than ever. You know, everybody's living in their own world. Now the sun's gone to hell and the moon's riding high. Let me bid you farewell. Every man has to die, but it's written in the starlight and every line on your palm. We're fools to make wars on our brothers in arms. So wait a minute, is he like singing is this a real thing or is it just, uh, you know, about somebody? Either way, it's, it, it, I can feel some kind of a sadness from it, you know what I mean? Like you lost a loyal friend or brother, whatever, you know? But I like that. I would get, it's much better than the other one I did on uh, Dire Straits. <laughs> 